Jelly Roll grants dying wish of terminally ill woman, he made me feel like I was so special. Jelly Roll isn't letting the rich and lavish lifestyle of a country star get to him despite winning numerous awards and being nominated for a Grammy Award. Never wanting to forget his turbulent life, the country singer is constantly looking for ways to give back to those in need. Whether it's a toy drive or a rehabilitation center, Jelly Roll appears to enjoy nothing more than using his celebrity to help others. The singer recently jumped at the chance to meet one of his most devoted fans, who also happened to be terminally ill. There are few singers who compare to Jelly Roll, according to Sharon Brown. The grandmother, who lives in Colombia, joked about how surprised people are to learn how much she adored the singer. She even wore a Jelly Roll hoodie. This one I got for Christmas. She went on to say, I think they're shocked because of my age and my white hair. Aside from a hoodie, the grandmother's devotion to Jelly Roll led her to not only visit the church where the singer grew up, but she also got matching bad apple tattoos with her daughter Melissa and granddaughter Neva. Melissa, who was full of life, discussed her mother's terminal illness and hoped to make her dream of meeting Jelly Roll a reality. She had an aneurysm, which caused dementia to develop early. She also has kidney failure and has chosen not to undergo dialysis. It's quite a bit. It's a lot to ask of her. Melissa saw an opportunity to make her mother's dream come true while attending a Jelly Roll Toy Drive concert and talking with the staff. Despite a massive request to meet the rising star, the grandmother found herself in the same room as the singer. Sharon recalled the incident, saying, He gave me so many hugs. He made me feel extremely special. He said I only looked 50. Melissa, who was both overwhelmed and grateful for Jelly Roll meeting her mother, stated, It was just an incredible experience to do that with my mom. It will be a memorable day for the rest of our lives.